Hi, I'm Justin Loretz. I'm the reviews editor for What Mountain Bike Magazine. And today, in association with Unior Tools, I'm going to be taking you through some basic mountain bike maintenance tips. Mountain bikes might look very complex things these days, but really they're quite simple to look after. They just need uh, a little bit of thought uh, and care and pretty much everything on them is quite straightforward. We're going to be dealing with a few different issues today, but we're going to be beginning with disc brakes. One of the key issues with disc brakes that we hear often from, from riders is my brakes are rubbing. And what they mean is this sort of thing. That should be spinning freely and it isn't, it's rubbing on the caliper. Um, what's happened is the caliper isn't correctly aligned directly over the rotor and is causing the disc pads inside the caliper to rub on the rotor. It's really quite simple to fix. As you can see, this is what we call a post mount style mounting. So the frame has two posts which are actually integrated into the frame and onto that sits the caliper. Now this particular caliper is a SRAM XO model uh, and it uses, as all SRAM brakes do, a set of conical washers, as you can see here, two washers uh, between the caliper and the mount. As well as having a lateral slot in this black metal section here, which allows left to right movement, the conical washers also allow a little tilt movement left to right. Now what that allows you to do is to compensate for any lack of uh, uh, precision in the frame mounts and allows you to uh, angle your caliper more correctly and straight over the over the rotor. Um, this is a nice straight frame, I know that already, so I know we're not going to need any particular angle adjustment, so what we're going to do is just slacken these bolts off very slightly, they don't have to be made screamingly loose. As you can see, the uh, caliper automatically wanted to find its own way back to being centrally positioned. In fact, probably if we were to look, it's already corrected itself. It's still rubbing a tiny bit, so the way to do it is to look down the uh, slot down the top of the caliper, or if you haven't got a slot on the particular model that you've got, you can look down the back. A nice white background like we've got here helps, so you can see the gaps between the pads and the rotor, and the whole idea is to get a nice even spacing. So don't do them up screamingly tight, they don't need to be done super tight at the moment. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's come back just a fraction. That's looking pretty good at the moment, so we can put a final little turn on there. Again, always worth to double check. Sometimes these things, it's not, while it's a precise science, it's not unusual for the final tweak of tension on there to minutely affect the position of the caliper. Um, as again, we're, we're, we're pretty good on that. As you can see, the wheel's rotating beautifully and it'll stop when it's good and ready. Okay, so we've attended to the mechanical issue of a caliper not sitting straight over the rotor. Um, it's worth noting that occasionally there are other reasons why your brake might be rubbing in the way that it was a moment ago. Um, disc brakes, obviously being rotational uh, devices, can pick up all kinds of dirt and leaves and muck and litter and even hair, uh, which can get banged up in the, uh, in the caliper and cause uh, the brake to rub. Occasionally, dirt or grit can get up behind the pads, causing the pads to uh, sit further in, closer to the rotor, maybe not quite a, you know, a perpendicular angle, um, which again can cause the brake to rub. Sometimes it's a good idea to just drop the rear wheel out and uh, have a good look up inside the caliper to make sure that it's free from obstruction. But uh, this one's clean and well adjusted.